friends this uh, video we are capturing uh, in continuation of hand holding for filing GSTR 9 and 9c for financial year 2018-19 so there may be a case that you may have sown 1718 outward supply in a period April 18 to March 19 that gets auto populated when we are finalizing gstr 9 of financial year 2018 19. let's take an example and try to understand your book turnover is 100 for 18 19 and 20 rupees pertaining to 17 18 you have shown in a period April 18 to March 19 in table 10 of GSTR 9 of 17 18. So, what happened when you are picking up GSTR 9 of 18 19? Your table 4, which getting auto populated from GSTR 1, will show 120 inclusive of 20 rupees of 17 18 shown in 1819 question before us this is pertaining to 1718 what to be done where to be shown this spillover effect my answer to all of you if you are a taxpayer who is filing gstr 9 and 9c both for 1819 and that is possible only when your aggregate turnover is more than 5 crore for financial year 2018-19. Then my suggestion to you would be, you should not correct. Keep the figure as it is 120 in table 4 of GSTR 9. Keep as it is, which includes 20 rupees of 17-18. When you go to GSTR 9C, your book turnover as per audited annual financial statement shown in table 5 of GSTR 9C will have 100 rupees and your GST turnover which is coming from GSTR 9 is 120 rupees there would be difference of 20 rupees which can be narrated in table 6 difference this 20 rupees pertaining to 1718 reconcile nothing to be stated further now second category if you are a taxpayer not filing 9c you are only filing gstr 9 gstr 9 is optional if your aggregate turnover is uh, less than 2 crore and uh, if it is between 2 crore to 5 crore then gstr 9 is compulsory but 9c is not compulsory Rule 80 sub rule 3 of CGST rule got amended. GST audit reconciliation statement audited by practicing chartered accountant or cost accountant is required for 1819 only when it crosses 5 crore rupees. So what happened if it is 2 crore to 5 crore? or you are optionally filing GSTR 9 even though your aggregate turnover is less than 2 crore then the options are the op first option you should keep the figure as it is so 120 as auto populated do not make any correction and corresponding taxes are being shown in table 9 of GSTR 9 of 1819 but you must prepare the reconciliation statement and this reconciliation statement must show that 120 which is auto populated includes 1819 turnover 100 1718 turnover shown in 1819 20 and this is being evidence 
when you look at gstr 9 of 1718 white table 10 and in table 10 you have shown 20 rupees in a period april 18 to march 19 pertaining to 1718 it will be evidence so once you file your gstr 9 for 1819 you do one thing you write a letter to your jurisdictional officer stating with the reconciliation 120 includes 20 rupees of 1718 shown in april 18 to march 19 which is being substantiated with gstr 9 copy submitted for 1718 and the copy of gstr 9 of 1819 second way could be you may reduce this 20 rupees in table 4 of gstr 9 of 1819 auto populated 120 reduced by 20 pertaining to 17 18 100 accordingly you got one reconciliation done and this reconciliation will show that you have reduced 20 rupees of 17 18 shown in april 18 to march 19 and that reconciliation need to be attached with the later here also i will suggest you send a later submit a later to your jurisdictional officer with a copy of gstr 9 of 1718 gstr 9 copy of 1819 so with that gstr 9 copy any gst authority jurisdictional officer can check that wherever correction is not being done or wherever correction is being done that may account for that this 120 if it is not corrected with GSTR 9 of 1718 table 10 it gets verified and wherever it is corrected it is again gets verified with the table 10 of GSTR 9 of 1718 and later is stating the facts this is how you have shown the numbers now which one is correct for me both is correct you can show the way you want it for your safety for the sake that you are bona fide for the sake you are showing the numbers correctly to the gst authority maybe a later with a copy of gstr 9 either it is kept as it is or you have reduced 20 rupees in table 4 and then supported with the reconciliation statement will suffice the purpose there is no corresponding tax implication only we are furnishing the numbers and showing the spillover effect so we'll continue with this kind of series and having multiple queries coming up so next capsule we will take up the important one what is the reconciliation if there's a difference in gstr 1 3b versus books of account so stay tuned for this handholding for filing GSTR 9 and 9C for financial year 2018-19. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.